Music will awake emotions. This is how everyone will be taken away by a slideshow video. In this video, I'll show you how to combine photos with sound. Hi, I'm Nadine from Aquasoft. We are here to help you create videos from your photos and music with software that is easy to learn. It comes with many features that can develop into something deeper as you learn more about them. We will keep you posted about everything related to creating videos and slideshows from your photos. So if you haven't done this yet, please subscribe to our channel. Most times you will insert your photos before you add the music. I want to show you a different way to do this, especially when you want the timing to be just right. The first thing you do is adding the music. We are adding just one track. This is also a good moment to take a notepad and write down the duration of the music track. I double click here on the background music track and then I add my... We see nothing of the music yet, but that's about to change. Drag a chapter into the timeline and insert a placeholder object. The duration of the placeholder should match the duration of the music track. You can adjust the duration in the properties panel. Make sure that the time is not measured in seconds but in minutes as it makes it easier to enter the duration of the track. Do you see the hills and valleys of the music curve? To see this even better we are going to scale up the view in the timeline like this. The goal here is to match the photos to the music, so let's make some red guidelines throughout the timeline. You set the guidelines by holding the shift key and clicking on the timeline, like so. But at first I want to change the start of the music and I'm just going to drag it here so it starts a little bit earlier. Then I will place the red lines. So now we were just looking at the sound curve, since we can already spot significant ups and downs here. We should, however, also listen to the music. Start the preview in the layout designer and listen carefully and press the spacebar to create the red guidelines. You can press it to the beat or mark important parts of the song by just pressing down the spacebar. Maybe you have to listen to the music again and again to get it right. So let's start the preview. <laughs> we have the red guidelines, we can start to import photos, text and everything else. All you need to do is pay attention to the red lines. You could, for example, just make a photo fit between the place, between two guidelines. Or if you find that the photos are long enough, try adding a slight camera pan. Now I'm going to my images. I'm starting with this one and I drag it here into the timeline. And then I'll adjust the length of the object. And maybe I can already add a slight camera pen. And then I'll add another image. I'll drag it here next to the first one. And then I can adjust the duration. It's a little bit longer than the first one. So I can add a fade in. And then I'll 
just add another camera pen. And this time I want to zoom out so the first frame should be a little bit smaller and then the second one should be a little bit larger. And now I'll add the third image. You see the space between the red lines is a little bit short but it would be perfect if we add here just maybe a text or a lower third maybe. I will do this with a flexi collage where I can group a shape and a text. So now that I have my lower third, I just want to make sure that it is not just dropped into the image, but maybe um, select a nice fade-in for it. So this is where I can select the fade-ins and I think I should choose a fairly simple fade-in, maybe color fading. No, that's not what I want. Maybe grow from the bottom. So let's see and listen how it looks. I want to show you another cool thing. Recently in my last videos you've seen slideshow 11 and spot on 11 but what we have here this is stages it might look like a slideshow or spot on but it has some really cool additional features like keyframes i just click here on this icon and now i can adjust the fade in the transparency the motion and the camera pen and and some other things according to my music so you see how the music curve progresses and I can just adjust everything according to my music curve. So let's say we want to change the duration of the camera pen, I can just change it here. Or if you want to see the keyframes of this image here, we have added no pen yet, but we can make it start just here where the curve tips up and make it end here and then we go on to the camera pan mode and change everything and we have the timing just right you will see it in the preview I'll show you I just want to make sure that our fade in from the lower third uh, fits the music as well because now we have a standard standard fade in time but maybe that's not the best way to do it maybe we can adjust this a little bit longer now let's see the preview <laughs> As you can see, what I've done is fairly simple, but I think, or I'm sure, you have your own images in mind and your own music. So I would encourage you to try it for yourself, even try it maybe with stages. We have a, we have a trial version for stages too, and you can try it for 30 days. And I promise it's really fun to do it, especially with keyframes. Actually, I've seen many music videos on YouTube that were created with our software. And that's a really cool thing to see. I hope this video helps you create your own video with photos that fit the tune. And if this was helpful to you, give us a quick thumbs up. We would love to see your videos and if you want to share your work with us, you can link us in your video description on YouTube. The handle is at Aquasoft News. 
We are looking forward to your comments and your questions in the comment section below. Bye! Thank you.